Hello friends and welcome to another episode here on the channel. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And in today's episode, we're going to be covering all of the updates for the new Max Raid event dens in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So we are now into December. It is December the 1st when I'm recording this video. And this is the date for when the dens are updating. The November event has ended that had the GMAX Garbodor and the GMAX Butterfree. They're no longer available in the promoted dens, but you can still find them in game in their respected dens so what have we got for december and it is a lot better honestly than the november dens nothing against gmax butterfree or garbador but we do have some good pokemon to hunt for in this one so as always we'll hop over to our trusty source with cerebi and we can take a look at the den a little more in depth so you can see event details here it is running from the 1st of december which is today uh, as of recording this to the 31st of december so we've got the whole month to take advantage of this these raid events and uh, get these Pokemon. So the first Pokemon to note is G Max Lapras. Very strong competitive Pokemon. A really nice G Max Pokemon to obtain in Sword and Shield, and it becomes a lot easier to obtain with these promoted raid dens. So even in the one star raids, you're going to be able to get G Max Lapras, which is amazing. So for those of you that are very early on in your game, haven't got the gym badges to get the three to five star raids, then you're going to be able to get G Max Lapras as well then we've got bergmite weavile sizzlipede turtonator and canto ponita so this is a nice little addition as well we've got obviously galarian ponita is the pokemon that we're able to get in sword and shield but now through this max raid event then then we're going to be able to get the canto variant as well so these are all your one star raids no big special items that you're going to get here just the generic ones uh your dynite ores armorite ores and things like that and then we move down onto the two star raids you're going to get the gmax lapras bergmite weavile center scorch which is its gmax version as well so the second gmax pokemon that you're going to be able to obtain and another one that i think is pretty nice as well to actually have access to in this event den and then we've got turtonator and the Canto Ponytar again and then we move down to the three star raids again the items are pretty generic for your dens that you're going to be getting in these promoted raid dens nothing super special to look out for uh, but we've got GMAX Lapras, Avalug, Weavile, Center Scorch, Turtonator and then the Canto Rapidash so we're going to be able to get this as well through the raid dens which is super nice especially for those of you that are trying to complete the Pokedex and things like that then the four star raids are exactly the same the GMAX Lapras, Avalug, the Weavile, the Center Scorch, Turtonator and Rapidash and exactly the same again for the five star raids you're just getting increased items and bigger amounts and more likely to get the rarer ones in the five star raids um, and then we'll move on to pokemon shield and the pokemon are exactly the same so whichever version of the game you've got pokemon sword or pokemon shield the pokemon that you're going to be able to obtain in this promoted den are going to be exactly the same so let's hop over to the game so in previous videos that i've done i get a lot of comments asking how to maybe get the dens uh, and there's a lot of confusion on the best ways to get them and maybe the best ways to manipulate the dens so i'm just gonna do this for you guys here so we'll start off at the lookout point i believe that's where it is our meetup spot okay this is where we're starting out and we're making our way to Drappled Grove because there are two dens right next to each other and I think they're the closest dens in the entire game to each other. I'm pretty sure they are. And for this reason, the, I've used this, these, this set of dens over and over again if I want to try and get these event dens spawning. So these are the dens here. This is what you're looking out for. Very close to each other. Now this method will waste a lot of wishing pieces, but you'll be all right doing it. So what you want to do is just drop a wishing piece into this one. If it's not the event den, then you want to just move on to this next one. Make sure that you are aware that the event dens can only spawn in these red beams here, not the purple rarer ones. And um, so what you do is just run backwards and forwards in between the dens here, and it literally takes seconds to do just spawn a new den like i say you're going to go through a few wishing pieces doing this but it will pay off eventually especially if you're wanting to kind of manipulate the den through the date skip glitch if you get a purple beam just ignore it and move on and just spawn backwards and forwards so i'm going to continue doing this 
What are the chances? What are the chances of getting two rare beams in a row? Um, and we'll be back when I do get the event den. So I've eventually got the promoted den that I was looking for going in between the dens. It really only took about 10 wishing pieces at the most. You can see this is the November den for the shuckle. Now at this point, I know a lot of you already know this little trick, but what you want to do is you want to just get wild area news, come into your menu screen, go into mystery gift and then get the wild area news and it will connect to the internet and it will update your dens and update the promoted raid dens. So you are able to get the new Pokemon a little message your pop up there saying your dens have been updated and then when you click back into the den the pokemon will have changed and at this point this is where you want to go you want to be offline so you want to make sure that you are offline if you're wanting to change this to manipulate the den to get the pokemon that you want one of those gmax pokemon you want to just invite others and then you want to hit the home menu come down to system settings you want to come down to system you want to go to date and time make sure that your synchronized clock by the internet is off and then you want to go to date and just skip forward one day and then hit the home button on your your controller come back into the game and then exit the den just quit out of it and by doing this you're tricking the game to think 24 hours have passed you can see the weather's changed when you go back into the den now it will change the frame of the den and the pokemon will be different and it'll be a different pokemon it should be a different pokemon but we've got the same one again so you want to just repeat this method once again no, don't want to go to sleep. Not just yet. It is late, but I uh, <laughs> I want to get this video up before I go to bed into the game and then quit out of it once again. And then this time the Pokemon has changed from the last time we did it, but it was just the same Pokemon. There we go. G Max Lapras. Just like that. So if you're worried about catching it, you can go online. It will give you a 100% catch rate if you're hosting the raid for one of these GMAX Laprises. But if you want to just make sure if you're not going online with it, you want to just go into the den, then you can just go invite others. Make sure you save before you go into it. And then you're going to be able to do this. And you're going to be able to access these promoted raid dens to do the shiny glitch with the sea checkers and things like that. And we have a sea checker on our Discord. The link will be down in the description. It's free to use. There's no drawbacks, no hang-ons or anything like that. You're going to be able to just go on, use that sea checker and try and get these GMAX Pokemon as shinies. And it's a lot easier. So that about wraps up today's episode for us. We've got the new dens. I would imagine we'll probably get another update mid-December with a probably another shiny event running over a weekend so when we do make sure that you uh, do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss that because I will update as soon as the news drops on that and any other information that we get in regards to the max raid event dens the promoted dens that we've got running in the wild area so have a lot of fun hunting these new Pokemon I really think this event the running for December is a very good one with Lapras being a very good GMAX Pokemon and hopefully I know a lot of you are asking about GMAX Snorlax as well so hopefully we'll get that again as a repeat event in the coming months so have a great rest of your day friends thank you so much for tuning in if you have enjoyed the video do drop a like do consider subscribing if you enjoy the sort of content and you want to see more Pokemon content like this and other competitive content that we do here on the channel and I will see you all for the next one I'm going to bed so Take care and bye-bye.